I'm really disappointed that he's only playing three nights this time. He usually plays like the whole week. I go to every show in Florida. I was raised listening to him. Back in the day, Mona Lisa lost her smile. <laughs> and uh, take this job and shove it. All the old songs. Counting count the bike weeks, of course, in the, the springtime, he's usually here for at least uh, 10, 10 shows. So I probably see him anywhere from uh, uh, 20 to 30 times a year. All right, man. My name is Corbin. I've been doing the merchandise for David now for about a year. Um, we go everywhere, all around the U.S., anywhere you can imagine. Um, and I mean, he's got fans all over the country. No matter where you go, north, south, east, west. We, you know, go on, on the websites and talk to everybody. You know, we get people to come down every year with us and hang out with us. And I've been buying a lot of his stuff. We have a, a whole back room full of things that were David's, you know, over the years. I've been going to see him 27 years. I just like the old outlaw music. He's a great songwriter. Great songwriter, great entertainer, and, uh, and he's unique. My daddy worked at the Goodyear Dry Rubber Company in Akron, Ohio, and he worked on cars. My mama went to church, my daddy went to bars, and most people just called it the Hill Village. Everything, you know, albums, uh, albums, eight tracks, cassettes, CDs, videos. I have most of these books. Uh, one whole wall of pictures. I have a gold record. Uh, I have half a closet full of t-shirts. Clothes that he would wear over the years that, that we'd acquire and things like that. Things that he gave to us. My girl has a jacket that he used to wear up on stage, all custom made with a with fringes and and uh, inlaid turquoise and all that stuff. Yeah, you can't you can't uh, put him in a box. Uh, he he uh, blues, country, rock and roll, hip hop. I mean, he's been on tour with I mean Kid Rock and Uncle Cracker and those guys, and he's actually you know written several songs. He's on a lot of their you know albums that are out and. Uh, well, back in the uh, 70s, he toured with the Allman Brothers Band and uh, Dickie Betts. A lot of people get really into it. Some of them um, maybe a little excessively. Uh, there's no two shows that's exactly alike. He may play some of the same songs, but none of the shows, he doesn't play from a, a set list. They maybe get a little too excited or um, sometimes um, upset because he didn't play a song they wanted to hear. I think the biggest thing that I've always liked about David was that I've always considered that he wasn't a sellout to anybody. He does things the way he wants to, he does them when he wants to, and he, he doesn't let anybody dictate things to him. If that ain't country, it's a damn good I've been on the ground, I've been Oh, Johnny, girl. If he ain't country, what?